how to solve problems involving systems of linear inequalities in two variables. Tara, alamin po natin yan sa video ito. Good day everyone! Welcome to my learning channel, Sir Fox Learning Channel. Today, we will learn mathematics for grade 8 with Ma'am Erika. Tara, samahan niyo po akong panoorin ang video ito. Good day, learners. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss solving problems involving system of linear inequalities in two variables. These are the steps for solving a system of inequalities word problem. Number one, read the problem and highlight important information. Two, identify the variables. Three, find one piece of information in the problem that you can use to write an inequality. Four, find a different piece of information that you can use to write a second inequality. Five, wrap both inequalities on a grid. Make sure you use appropriate boundary lines and shade the correct half plane for each inequality. And for number six, identify the intersection of the two inequalities and answer the questions that pertain to the problem. Let's have an example. Given this problem, Sarah is selling bracelet and earrings to make money for summer vacation. The bracelets cost two pesos and earrings cost three pesos. She needs to make at least 500 pesos. So we're going to answer these four. So on the first two, we're going to write the inequality. On the third, we're going to grab. And for the last, we're going to identify a solution and answer the question. Okay, so before we write the inequality, step number one is to highlight the important information. So, Sarah is selling bracelet and earrings to make money for summer vacation. The bracelets cost 2 pesos and earrings cost 3 pesos. She needs to make at least 500 pesos. Okay? Next step number 2, identify your variables. Think about what you don't know and need to know to solve the problem. So, we already know the cost of the bracelet and earrings. We already know the that Sarah needs to make at least 500 pesos. So, ito yung sinasabi natin na ano yung kailangan mong malaman. So, ilang bracelet and earrings kaya ang nabenta ni, Sa ni Sarah para magkaroon ng at least 500 pesos. So, we're going to represent yung bilang. Yun yung kailangan natin mo lang. Yung bilang ng bracelet na nabenta and nung earrings. So, let X be the number of bracelets sold and let Y be the number of earrings sold. Okay. So, now let us write the inequality to represent the income from the dual result. So, pasasamahin na natin yung cost and yung number nung na benta. For example, this one. 2 is the cost of the bracelet. 2 pesos is the cost. So, 2 times the number of bracelet. The number of bracelets is represented by variable x. Next, earrings. So, the cost of the earrings is 3 pesos. So, 3 times the number of earrings. The number of earrings is represented by variable y. So, we have 3 y. Then, the at least, the word at least, so, simple natin dito, is greater than or equal to, and Sarah needs 500 pesos. So, first inequality is 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 500 pesos. knows that she will sell more than 50 bracelets. Write an inequality to represent this situation. Again, let x be the number of bracelet. 
more than. So, Sarah knows na makakabenta pa siya na higit pa sa 50 bracelet. So, X is greater than 50. So, this will be the second inequality. Next, we're going to grab the two inequalities and shade the intersection. So, given the first inequality, 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 500. In order to grab this inequality, we have to get the x and y intercept. So, let us get the x intercept. So, let y is equal to 0. So, yung symbol natin na is greater than or equal to, palitan mo natin na equal sign. So, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 500. 2x plus 3 substitute the value of y. So, 0 is equal to 500. So, 3 times 0 is 0. So, we have 2x is equal to 500. So, we need to eliminate 2 beside x. So, we're going to apply the multiplication property of equality. So, first, uh, let, us get, uh, let us write the denominator of 2x. So, we have 1. The denominator of 500 is also 1. Remember that the denominator of any whole number is always 1. Next, let us eliminate 2. So, let us get the reciprocal of 2 over 1. So, we have 1 half. So, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 1 half. So, we have 1 times 2x. So, we have 2x. 2 times 1. So, we have 2 is equal to 1 times 500 is 500. 2 times 1 is 2. Then, let us uh, divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is x. Or simply cancel 2. So, we have x is equal to 500 divided by 2 is equal to 250. So, this is our x intercept. Now, let us get the y intercept. So, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 500. So, 2 times the value of x is 0 plus 3y is equal to 500. So, 2 times 0 is 0. So, we have 3y is equal to 500. Same thing. Let us apply the multiplic... We need to... Uh, first, we need to eliminate 3. So, we have to write first the denominator. Then, get the reciprocal of 3. So, 3 and 1. So, the, the reciprocal of 3 and 1 is 1 third. Uh, sorry, 3 over 1 is 1 third. So, multiply both sides by 1 third. So, 1 times 3y is 3y. 3 times 1 is 3. Is equal to 500 times 1 is 500. 1 times 3 is 3. Then, 3 divided by 3. So, is equal to 1. So, cancel na natin yun. So, we have y is equal to 500 divided by 3 is 166.67. Seven. Now, we are ready to graph the first inequality. So, mga na, i-graph natin yon. Then, uh, para matatermine natin yung shaded part, yung shaded region ng graph, so, copy, uh, copy lang natin to. X, then 250. Then, our symbol here is greater than or equal to just copy. So, is greater than or equal to. So, ito yung magdedetermine na shaded region. Sa graph natin, mamaya. Since nakuha na natin yung x and y intercept ng first inequality, pwede na tayong mag-graph. So, ito yung graph natin. We have the x and y. 
So, naglagay lang ang number ng estimate ko. Uh, pinili ko is by 100 na lang. So, for, from the origin, 4 units, 100, and equal distance lang. 4 units ulit, 200, 300. Then, same lang. 4 units, 100, from 100 to 200, 4 units pa rin yung distance nila. Okay? So, on the x-axis, we have the number of bracelets. On the y-axis, we have the number of earrings. So now, let us graph. x is equal to 250. So this is our x-intercept. So 250 is located in x. So this is 100, 200, 300. So our 250 is here. So you plot the point. 250. Then the other one, y-intercept. So y is equal to 166.67. So sa y-axis natin yung makikita. So this is 0, 100, 200. So just estimation, our 166.67 must be here. Ayan. And then, get your ruler, connect the two points. So, notice that the symbol here is greater than or equal to. So, you're going to make a solid line in connecting the points. Okay. Now, let us determine the shaded region in this inequality. So, yun yung kanina. Yung purpose natin dito. X is kaya na, ah, nagpalit tayo ng symbol. X is greater than or equal to 250. Si X lagi yung magdi-decide kung, kung saan yung shaded part. Okay? So, punta tayo sa X. X is greater than 250. What are the possible values of uh, X which is greater than 250? So, syempre, map Nandito yon, Nasa right side. So, dito yung ating shaded region. So, you're going to use color yellow. Then, hindi ka ilalagpas dun sa line. Yan, shaded. This will be the shaded region. Next, second inequality. Graph natin yung second inequality. So, kung kukunin natin yung intercept nito, of course, this is x is equal to 50. So, nasa ba si 50? So, dito lang si 50. And then, notice yung symbol natin is greater than. So, you're going to use broken line. So, ang graph natin dito is vertical line. Okay. Then, shade natin. So, x is greater than 50. Ito yung 50 natin. So, possible value of x na mas malaki pa sa 50. So, naandito yun. So, ang shade natin goes from the up, uh, from here to right. So, again, hindi kayo lalagpas dun sa this one, no? Sa line, sa broken line. Okay, so as you can see, yung color yellow and green, nag-combine sila. So, this part, this shaded region is the solution to the inequalities. So, let us check by getting a test point that is found in the shaded region. So, pili na tayo ng... Uh, 
points, test point na pwede natin gamitin. Okay, so for example, this one, 200, 200. So, if you're going to locate the point 200, 200, so 200, 200 is here in the uh, shaded region, yung yellow green, this one. So, 200, 200. Okay, so let us check if 200, 200 is a solution to our inequalities. This is the last step. So, we're going to identify a solution and answer the question, how many bracelet and earrings can Sarah sell? So, kanina, napili natin yung 200, 200. So, Sarah can sell 200 bracelets and 200 pair of earrings. Now, let us justify. If the solution, 200, 200, satisfy the two inequalities. First inequality, uh, by the way, this is our x and this is our y. So first inequality, we have 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 500. Let us substitute. The value of x is 200 plus 3 times the value of y is 200 greater than or equal to 500. So, 2 times 200 is 400. Plus, 3 times 200 is 600. It's greater than or equal to 500. 400 plus 600 is 1,000. It's greater than or equal to 500. So, the solution satisfy the first inequality. Next, second inequality. X is greater than 50. So, the value of X is 200. It's greater than 50. So, 200 is greater than 50. So, it also satisfy the second inequality. So, 200, 200 is one of the solutions. Makabulohang konsepto ang ating napag-aralan sa video ito. Hopefully, nakatulong po ito sa ating mga grade 8 distance learners who are taking Mathematics 8. At sana, kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on. Marami pong salamat. Happy learning everyone!